all right you guys so this is part three of my eyeshadow palette collection and little bit of declutter all right so just like part one and part two i'm gonna be going through some more eyeshadow palettes and reviewing whether i'm gonna keep them or not this is a this is by no means a full-on declutter i'm only going to be taking out products that are a little bit old or i just won't use so if you're interested in seeing my makeup collection then definitely keep on watching because that's what you're going to get if you want to see part one and part two i will link them in the description box below you can also check out my makeup collection playlist so let's just jump in so i've got the stack of shadows here we're going to start here so these are juvia's face shadows this is the tribe by juvia's face this is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette and i have no idea why juvia space has has decided to discontinue this particular eyeshadow palette but i absolutely enjoy the color story i think the balance of green and brown shades just makes it a really really beautiful all-round eyeshadow palette plus the packaging and the colors and everything is just really really pretty so definitely keep it and i'm going to be taking all my juvia space palettes out of their boxes next up is the wahala 2 palette so i recently did a um review of this eyeshadow palette on my youtube so this is what it looks like and there's some beautiful transformational shades in this palette you've got a different range of textures you've got matte shimmer glitter transformational shades it's just a really really beautiful palette beautiful balance of colors i really did enjoy creating with this eyeshadow palette so she's definitely staying in the collection next up is the warrior 2 palette i haven't used this palette too too much but it's a beautiful brown um eyeshadow palette i think this would make a really really good everyday eyeshadow palette plus some of these shimmer shades can double up as highlighters as well so i'm definitely going to be using this more in shop my stash this year so when i say this year i mean 2021 <laughs> so i'm quite happy that i do have it this is the saharan 2 by juvia's place now i recently used this in one of my um shop my stash Ooh. and the color and pigmentation is still there still off the chain still beautiful I really really did enjoy using this eyeshadow palette and I'm so happy that I actually picked it up so I've had this palette in my collection for quite a while and the pigmentation is still there there are some shadows that I haven't dipped into but I plan on using some of those obscure eyeshadows in this year and then you've got the warrior 3 palette this is a recent purchase so <clears throat> This is a recent purchase and I've only reached into one shade from this palette, which is this shade called Gola. Color story is gorgeous. You've got greens, you've got the primary colors, you've got green, yellow, blue, you've got purple as well. So I really love it. I love the design of the packaging as well. I think when they keep the background monochromatic, it just makes you really look at the shadows and know what looks you're going to create so i do enjoy this type of palette from juvie space next is the deuce or Duce eyeshadow palette this is one of the ones i haven't really given much attention to um so i can't categorically say that i don't like it i know there are some people that don't really care for this palette but i do love the color story and i think for someone who doesn't love pinks I think the shades of pink work for me and I do love these shades like this one doubles up as a highlighter I do love it so I'm quite happy to have this in my collection so I'm not getting I'm not getting rid of any of them and we've got some more Juvia Space palettes <laughs> there was a time when I was collecting them but I've kind of like slowed down because they all come with custom charges because I live in the UK and it's pretty painful <laughs> so next is the nubian 3 coral palette now this is one of the most exciting ones for me and as you can see i did give this palette a lot of love and attention it's got a balance of brown peach and gray shades i enjoyed creating looks 
very very obscure look with this palette i think the color story is gorgeous and i think juvia space did a good thing with this eyeshadow palette i'd like to see some more weird combinations in the foreseeable future from juvia space but yeah i love having this one then i know a lot of people don't really care for the afrique palette either but again i'm not really mad at the color story i do actually think that the pigmentation is not as fantastic as the rest of them aka is not as buttery but the color story is still very interesting i know it's not cohesive you've got random colors here there and there but you can create so many gorgeous looks like you've got these brown shades for your everyday looks you've got these green shades which will marry with the blue and this one called cotone like there's so many shades you can combine you just have to look at it carefully to know what looks you want to create so i am happy having this in my collection and then we've also got the festival palette and i do enjoy this eyeshadow and i haven't given much love to this palette as you can see i've only used two shades from this palette which is which are these two shades the pink and the red but yeah it's definitely one of those palettes that i definitely need to get into love the package design as well and then you've got the warrior 3 palette which looks like this i think this is a really good accompanying palette for the warrior palette um it's really different from warrior 3 but i think different is good because they've been carrying on with neutral themes and i really love this cool tone um brownish gray shade called kana i think it's a beautiful palette but i haven't even touched it at all at all so i will definitely be using them Next up, I've got the Zulu palette. This is one of the older palettes from Juvia Space in my collection. And you can see the usage in this. I have used it a lot. There's quite a dip in this shade. This doubles up as a beautiful rose gold highlighter. I use it quite a lot. And I do love the color story. That yellow is so pigmented, so blendable. I'm definitely keeping this in my collection. This is the Masquerade Mini Palette. I gave away the bigger palette to my sister. And so I bought this quite a while ago. And it has been through the ringer. It has been used. And I can actually see some discoloration in the shade Zulu. So this is quite old actually. I think I'm going to declutter this. Because it is very old. And I can already see discoloration in one of the shades. And if if Juvia's Pays do like a sale or something, I might pick up another Masquerade Mini because as you can see, I do get my usage out of it and I do love the color story. So I'll be taking this one out of my collection. So I'm decluttering. Next up, this is one of the newer purchases that I've got. This is the Berries by Juvia's Place. I really love these mini palettes from Juvia's Place. Um, I think they're really, really good. I have used this quite recently and I did enjoy using it. The um, eyeshadows are a little bit stiffer, a little bit drier than most of their shadows, but they still perform and it's still a very beautiful color story. Very easy to use, very handy six pan palette. Next up is the Nomad. Again, I've used this quite recently. I think I used this over the Halloween period. And I did enjoy the colors in this palette. Like you've got that mossy green, you've got that leaf green, you've got some really beautiful um, custard type of colors. Very, very nice khaki colors as well. I love this palette and I love the packaging of this palette. I think it's one of their better packaging. Next up is the Queen palette. This is the collaboration palette with Fumi. Um, Fumi did a full collection with them. We've got bags, uh, lip products, eyeshadow palette. And she's got a new collaboration with them, which is a four pan palette. And I believe a lip product. I don't have that. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy this palette. This is a really good highlighter as well. And I have used this quite a lot and I do enjoy the diversity of this palette i could use this as a blush as well and this is a very beautiful eyeshadow so yeah i think the pigmentation of this one is really really good as well right so i've got three more palettes from juvia space this one is the saharan and i do love the color story of this one love the cool tone 
neutral shadows love the black and i really love this shimmer shades at the top so quite happy to have this next is the violets by juvia's face this is another six pan palette love the design of the packaging and again this is a slightly um, drier formula i think these mini ones have a slightly drier formula the shimmer shades are not as buttery as they usually are in juvia space palettes but pigmentation is still there and it's such a beautiful purple eyeshadow palette so and then the last juvia space palette that i have is the chocolate this is by far my favorite mini palette from Juvia's Place just because of how many tones I could use. It's a beautiful brown neutral eyeshadow palette. You can get that brown smoky eye. You can also use some of these shades to contour depending on how dark you are. But it is beautiful. I've enjoyed using this and I absolutely love this one. So I've got quite a lot of indie brands in this round. So I'm going to be showing you guys some more. This one is from September Rose. This is their Brew palette. This is one of my favorite autumn palettes, but I also see it as an all-round, um, everyday type of eyeshadow palette. It does come with a mirror, and you've got this range of beautiful shadows. I have used every single shadow in this palette, and I absolutely love pigmentation. I love the background. I love the packaging. I love the ease of use. It's such a beautiful palette. It's one of those palettes that even if it goes bad or even if I run out, I will purchase another one just because September Rose did a thing with this palette. It's such a unique, beautiful, easy to use eyeshadow palette. And I love the color story. Also love the brand. They're a black owned indie brand, so definitely check them out. I do have a few tutorials on my channel and also on Instagram, and I do have a discount code uh, for Shop September Rose, which is Medea J, and I'll give you 10% off. I do love their products. Right, next up is the Mojito palette from The Beauty Crop. I purchased this in summer 2020 and I just didn't use it. It is an all round green eyeshadow story very stunning love the packaging love the design of it as well i think the shades are very very beautiful you've got a good balance of matte shimmer shades and that pressed glitter shade haven't swatched it haven't used it i don't know what the formula is like or how it performs but it's one of those eyeshadow palettes that i'm so happy i have just because i'm a green eyeshadow palette lover so and then I've got a couple more from September Rose. This is the, let's start with this one. So I've got a couple more from September Rose. This is the Slush palette. It looks like this. And honestly, guys, I've used this palette. I've abused this palette. And I'm so disappointed in ColourPop. I feel like um, so many brands have copied this brand in terms of the rainbow way of lining up the shadows i've seen so many other brands doing it now and it's just really not on is it i mean when indie brands come up with some innovative brilliant ideas i think it's pathetic for bigger brands to copy and at least not even acknowledge i just think it's very sad um some of these shadows are getting pretty old so i'll probably be repurchasing a new one very soon but so far, pigmentation is still there. It's still a very stunning color story. And I really, really do love the way the colors work together. You've got balance of matte and shimmer shades. And it's just stunning. And very easy to use. Very, very easy to use. Not bulky or anything. Then soon after, they came out with the Slush 2 palette, which is all matte. So you've got an all matte eyeshadow palette which is a beautiful rainbow palette. Again, they kept the theme of keeping them in the same line and this works really nicely with the slush palette as well as every other eyeshadow palette that you have. If you're looking for that easy to use rainbow palette, then definitely this one is one of the better ones to look for. And then from OPV Beauty, I've got the rainbow splash palette. I won this in a giveaway from OPV Beauty and I have never looked back since then. I love OPV Beauty shadows. 
they're so pigmented and i love the color story of this palette it's a beautiful summer palette but knowing me i could use this all year round and it comes with a mirror pigmentation is there you are getting some oil seeping into the packaging but it's to be expected to be honest so and it comes from the shimmer shadows the pigmentation of this palette is just i'll show you look at the blue okay shimmer shadows this is very very pretty very pretty shade so definitely going to be keeping this one in my collection and see how far i use it um in 2021 i do want to repurchase the yemoja palette because mine is so old i had to declutter but we'll see how far i use the palette anyway next up is another black owned indie brand and this is the this is eloise beauty and this is the queen eyeshadow palette this one is a nice color story i just don't really care much for the packaging i think my brush really diff really struggles to get in there and get the shadows out the shadows are a little bit stiff but i do love the color story of this eyeshadow palette i'm gonna hang on to it for now and see how much use i get out of it if not i will declutter okay so next up we're gonna be looking at some colored rain palettes um this is the smoke show palette so i do have a discount code with colored rain again Medea j will get you 10 percent off colored rain products so this is smoke show i've used this quite a lot and i do love how easy it is it's a beautiful six pan palette You've got that green shade and you've got a couple of neutral shades. So you could do a standard neutral eye and then use that green as a pop of color on your lower lash line. I do love the diversity of this and I love that black as well. It's like a, a drier shimmer black. So get rid of this. So I'm going to hang on to this. Next up is the Queen of Hearts palette mine is slightly old so i'm not really too sure what the pigmentation will be like now but i did get a lot of use out of, out of my eyeshadow palette it's a beautiful palette like everyone and their mama has this in their collection because it is that palette it is that palette of choice it's so easy to use and the pigmentation is off the chain so if you haven't tried this out i definitely recommend it it's one of those palettes i would repurchase um when i do I don't know hip pan or if it gets too old i would definitely repurchase this palette next up i've got two of the juicy boots palette these were gifted from um colored rain this is the mini version which is in the book format and this is the one that i haven't touched at all you get the same number of shades in the palette it's just condensed into like a little book and this is the one i haven't used it's an 18 pan eyeshadow palette you've got the mirror i do want to gift this to a friend i just haven't seen her lately but i do want to gift this one because the palette version i do use i have used i do love and this is the one i've been dipping into quite a lot and this is what it looks like Okay, it's a beautiful fruity eyeshadow palette. I am going to get more use out of it this year for sure. But the little I've used out of it, I'm in love. Colored Rain make one of the best eyeshadow formula on the market. So I am not surprised that this is a winner. Next up is the Labelle UK Magnifique palette. This is one of my favorite autumn palettes as well. This is another palette that if it goes bad i would repurchase because it's such a beautiful color story you've got those warm like autumn types of colors those forest green shades it's just a really really stunning eyeshadow palette the quality is amazing pigmentation of that green is gorgeous there's a slight dip in that one because i've used it quite a lot and i really love this shade you can use it as a highlighter it's very stunning so i am keeping this in my collection as well <clears throat> also from labelle uk i've got the color splurge palette which is another rainbow type of palette but a mini one 
and this is what it looks like this formula is a little dry to be honest in my opinion um it's not as pigmented as i would like but i'll hang on to it for now and see how i get on this year um i have used it quite a bit but it didn't blow me away but we'll see Next up from Midas Cosmetics is the Flower Bomb Palette. I haven't used it. I just did when I uh, picked up one of their lip glosses. I was just looking on their website and they were doing an offer. And I thought I'd try their eyeshadow formula. I have swatched it, but I haven't used it. Again, we're getting that seeping thing that goes into the packaging, which isn't really cute. But um, I guess it can't be helped. I could really do without the glitter, to be honest, in the palette. But the colours are stunning. Like you've got some really beautiful, stunning shades in this palette. So I am quite excited to try it out. Next up, we've got a couple of palettes from Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe are no longer in existence. And instead, we've got Mayali Beauty. It's the same owner. It's just Blush Tribe has closed down and they open up my Yali beauty so this is a blush tribe palette i actually only purchased this to support the brand i actually never used it or anything so this is the sonia zarine collection and i really love their art on their packaging it's kind of really soft and very pretty it's always off um an influencer so this particular palette is a collaboration with Sonia Zareen I, I presume and it looks really really pretty and it's a cool tone eyeshadow palette you've got these beautiful greens at the bottom it's just really really pretty I've never used it I've never swatched it I literally purchased it to support the brand and yeah I just haven't used it it actually does have um <clears throat> they actually also came out with uh an eyelash for it which looks like this alia lash so i purchased the two just to support the brand but i just never used it so i'm gonna pop this in my maybe pile i'm not sure if to even bother using it being that you guys can't pick it up or to just do a giveaway with it so i'll put it in a maybe pile next up we've got the munaza palette and this is Safia. Safia is the model that they used on their packaging. And I purchased this palette because the owner at the time asked me to name one of the shades and asked me what shade I'd like to put in the palette. And I opted for a blue shade because I was really into blues at the time. And so there is a shade in there that's named after me. I did use this palette a couple of times on Instagram and I did swatch it but um at the moment i'm not really using it because you guys can't purchase it but i will keep it as one of those you know those tick box things that i do have my name in an eyeshadow palette so i will keep it for sentimental reasons next up we've got the blossom eyeshadow palette from blush tribe again it's like a rainbow type of eyeshadow pigmented i used it at the time beautiful colors but you guys can't purchase it so i think i will declutter and give this to my niece next up we've got another one from colored rain and this is the colored rain x power collaboration and this was off the tv series the power tv series and oh this palette you guys stunning purples berries gorgeousness overload so happy i have it it's not going anywhere i love this palette next up i've got another color dream palette and this is the vivid pigments eyeshadow palette so i can open it this is another rainbow palette now this is the rainbow palette i gravitate towards when i need a rainbow palette because the pigmentation of these shadows is off the chain it's a beautiful in my opinion a pressed pigment palette because the amount of product that you get from just one swipe is ridiculous it's amazing the quality is there beautiful range of colors i'm here for it so definitely keeping this next up 
this these are the mayali beauty palettes so this is the owner of blush tribe that's open on mayali beauty and these are the newer eyeshadow palettes so i've got the ayubia palette which looks like this and i'm not gonna lie i've only used this palette once i need to do more looks more tutorials using this palette but i do have a review of this on my on my youtube channel if you're interested plus i did do some swatches i really love the way the colors are arranged like literally if i turn it this way you can see like the cohesive looks that you can create so i do really enjoy this palette i just need to use it a bit more love the packaging love the simplistic design they also came out with the yaya palette this one came slightly broken so i've got one shade broken there and another one broken there but this reminds me of the sonia zarin palette just because of the tone so i'm gonna get that palette so i don't know if you can see everything but you can see some of those greens and some of those browns like this shade and this shade are practically the same okay and then uh you've got this shade and this shade which are very very similar you've got this shade here and this shade which are exactly the same yeah so i do see similarities this one and this one as well are very very similar i see similarities in both palettes so i'm happy to have this as it's a palette that you can get so i would keep this and the more i think about it i think i'm definitely going to declutter this palette i'm going to give this sonia zirin palette away so declutter and i'll keep the yaya they also came out with the yasmin palette this one i've only swatched i haven't used it at all but the packaging is very pretty and you've got more of the berry colors you've got those beautiful yellows really love that khaki color and some shifting um shimmer shadows so this is more like a dual chrome shift okay next up i've got the blush tribe hasina 2 palette this is a beautiful combination palette like you've got your purples you've got your greens and you've got a little bit of blue in this palette the balance in this palette is just amazing if you're looking for a palette that's just got that oh, it's just such a well balanced palette i'm gutted that you can't get this anymore so i am gonna declutter it because i've got some of these shades in other palettes if not all and I won't readily reach for this shade, this palette, because I know you guys can't get it. So I will declutter it. I forgot to mention that I do have a discount code with Mayali Beauty. So Medea J will get you 10% off Mayali Beauty. I know some people have some reservations about the brand, but I do love the two sisters. So Certify and the owner of Mayali Beauty. And I do love to support them. Like I've known them even before they started their brand. So I'm really, really happy that they've been able to keep the momentum in this really really difficult market that we're in so i am happy to support them but unfortunately because blush try has been discontinued i'm not going to be hanging on to this out the clutter i've also got the hasina palette which again is another beautiful design and looks like this this is a more it's like a lighter pastel -y type of eyeshadow palette it's very very stunning i'm not gonna lie the packaging is gorgeous as well but again just because you can't get this anymore i am gonna go ahead and declutter this palette right so the next set that i've got are from e unique beauty e unique beauty another black owned indie brand based in the uk and i absolutely love them so i've got um, a discount code with them which is medea j and that will get you 10 percent off your shop so let's quickly really go through what i've got i've got this z palette um it's like an empty eyeshadow palette and i've got a lot of my bigger singles from them in this palette and they look worse for wear because they're amazing and i use them a lot <laughs> that's why they look really really bad in the palette but trust me the pigmentation of this hold your breath just hold your breath 
do you see that so yeah I'm, i know they look disgusting in there but trust me the pigmentation you get on the eyes you'd forget the packaging so yeah next up i've got these two status quo eyeshadow palettes which look like this the first one is called dark soul and this is my favorite of of all the ones that they've created and they've created a lot definitely check them out because they're really easy travel friendly color story is always on point you've got two matte shadows one pressed glitter and two shimmer shave and the pigmentation is off the chain really love these next up you've got this one called royals again similar to dark soul you've got two matte shadows on either end you've got the shimmer shade pressed glitter and this transformational it's a it's a i don't know how to describe this shadow but it's one of those shadows that you if the more you blend in the more beautiful it looks so i tend to just use it on my cheeks as a highlighter because it's just absolutely stunning so definitely keeping those two next up i've got the um pressed powder palette this is the egg hunt palette this is what it looks like you've got a pressed pigment you've got a pressed glitter a couple of shimmer shades a couple of matte shades extravaganza is one of my favorite shades so is easter egg and it's a stunning palette i'm gonna hang on to it definitely and then the la jelly and then the la jella teria eyeshadow palette which is basically in the shape of an ice cream comes with these beautiful shadows got a couple of matte shades a couple of shimmer shades very very fresh stunning color story comes with a little mirror as well i really love the packaging it's so fun so i'm hanging on to that and then they recently came out with these mini shadows so these are your the fashion inspired eyeshadows this one is new this li li literally came in a couple of days ago so i actually haven't even opened them so we're going to open it on camera so the first one is the fashionista palette i do have a look on instagram using this palette and i have swatched it it is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette love the color story love the shimmer shades very very stunning love the inspiration behind it and then you've got friday night life which is nice dark and sexy i haven't used this one but i have swatched it very very beautiful and then you've got girls trip i have used this one i have created a look on instagram and it looks absolutely stunning and then i've got these ones this is the fashion japan konnichiwa beauty trends it's like a magazine isn't it when you open it up you've got the three eyeshadow palettes in there volume one volume two volume three so volume one looks like this that looks really interesting oh i love love locks that's stunning like they do color story really well and then volume two oh seems like i've got a broken shadow that's okay volume two looks like this Have I got one here? Okay, and volume three looks like this. So I've only got one broken shadow, which is all right by me. And I am definitely keeping all of them. So next up, I've got this eyeshadow palette from Elixir Beauty. Not long after I featured this palette on my Instagram with swatches and looks, did this palette did this company just go silent on instagram i don't know what happened to them their page is still up but they didn't post or release anything but this is the eyeshadow palette that they came out with it's such an easy to use eyeshadow palette the pigmentation is there very very nice colors very easy everyday palette it's a shame to throw it away so i am going to try and use it in a shop my stash just because it's so easy to use and so inexpensive but now that i look at it i bet i have these tones a million times over like it is i mean it's pretty it does remind me of the 
ABA subculture. So I will hang on to it for now. And then if I don't get much use out of it by summer, when I review my palette again, I will get rid of it. The next one that I've got is from Technique. And this was a Christmas gift from one of my friends here on social media. This is from um, Makeup For Days 22. You guys should definitely check out her page. She showcases a lot of Revolution products and she's the queen of Revolution. If you're ever interested in knowing about any of Revolution collections, she's your woman. So she's an amazing cook. <laughs> so definitely check her out on Instagram. But she sent me this palette. I'm not gonna lie, I was blown away when I saw this because I remember I mentioned this palette in one of my videos saying how gutted I was that I couldn't get this palette. And for her to remember and actually get me this palette out of all the palettes in the world definitely blew my mind. So this is the Technique Marrakesh Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one that is a good dupe for the Morphe 35 Boss Moods Palette. And this is the color story. It's just stunning. It's a stunning palette. And I just wanted to have it in my collection. Love how sturdy the packaging is. And I'll definitely cherish this. I don't think I'll ever declutter this. So thank you, girl. Next up, I've got this eyeshadow palette from Kikai Cosmetics. This is Live in Color 2. It is a rainbow type of eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. Kikai Cosmetics is another black owned brand. So I'm going to be hanging on to this as I do work with them. And next up is the Louise Cosmetics Rose Metal Eyeshadow Palette. I stumbled on this palette on this brand on Instagram and they are an indie brand. They're based in the UK and I saw this palette and I knew I had to have it. Such a stunning color story, isn't it? just so beautiful so i do have swatches of this palette and also a makeup look on my instagram very happy i have it next up from bh cosmetics we've got beautiful in barcelona palette i recently used this in a shop my stash and let me tell you something guys these mini palettes from bh cosmetics are off the chain pigmented i don't know what formula that they use but they did something with these palettes. The color story is so easy to use and it's such a beautiful palette. Next up, I've got the Weekend Vibes Blueberry Muffin Palette. I reviewed this on my YouTube channel. You guys know how I feel about this palette. It's another stunning BH Cosmetics success. Love the color story, love the pigmentation of the shadows. Very, very easy to use. Beautiful cool tone blues, browns, grey, silver. Just a well executed eyeshadow palette. Next up I've got the It's My Ray Ray Part 2. And this is the 15 color eyeshadow palette with uh, BH Cosmetics. This is slightly old in my collection. And I don't really use it. And I don't think I'm going to use it anytime soon. So I am going to declutter this no point hanging on to it if I'm not gonna use it I feel like I have those tones and then part one the it's my Ray Ray palette you've got the face part and then you've got the eyes I did get my use out of this palette um, I used to use it to work quite a lot so I think it's time to let her go so I am gonna declutter and then I've got the Weekend Festival palette. This is a classic from BH Cosmetics. It's such a pigmented eyeshadow palette. I did get a lot of use out of this. So I am going to hang on to this because it's such a stunning color story. Right, so next up is one of my best purchases of 2020. And this is the Bieber palette from Natasha Denona. One of my best purchases because I got this for a stupid deal. It was such a banging deal. Natasha Denona was doing a um, combination of two of these 100 and something odd palettes um, and just like buy one get one free but they were curated combos. Luckily I only had two eyeshadow palettes from Natasha Denona and the ones that were on sale were the ones that I really wanted. 
one of which was the Bieber palette. I have been using this off camera and I have been enjoying my time with this palette. The pigmentation of this palette is off the chain. I especially love the shimmer shades. I think the matte shades take a little bit of um, work but it's nothing that is a deal breaker. I think it's such a versatile, easy to use eyeshadow palette. Love the packaging as well. Very, very sleek packaging. Next up, I've got um, a palette from Day Day Signature. This is a collaboration palette and it's an all green eyeshadow palette. I have this reviewed on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. This palette has since then been discontinued. So I am going to declutter it and give it to my niece. Because there's no point using it if you guys can't get it. If you can still get it, then definitely do. Because I think the greens are so pigmented. And it's such a good color story. Um, so if you're looking for an inexpensive green eyeshadow palette, I do think that they're on sale. If they are still available, then definitely pick it up. I've also got the Magic palette by Juvia Space. Now this one is pretty darn old. I will be surprised if it still performs because I've got it in the big, big pan. I mean the shimmers still perform. So I think I'll hang on to it. <laughs> I'll try it out and if the pigmentation isn't there anymore then I'll definitely declutter. But um, just as I said, buying things from Juvia's Place website right now just means a lot of customs charges and yeah if I can hang on to it I'll hang on to it so I'll keep that for now next up I've got the Affinity 2 palette from Certify and it's a green and blue color story I completely enjoy this one this is one of my favorite ones from Certify I love the combination that is a beautiful dual chrome eyeshadow just have to swatch for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at the shift. It's just very, very stunning. So I will definitely be keeping. Uh, I've also got the Eternity palette, which looks like that. I'm actually going to declutter this because I've got these shades 50 times over. I have got some use out of this. So I think my niece can get some further use. So I will declutter. I've also got the Destiny palette, which looks like this. This one I'll keep because it's just such a good accompanying palette for some other palettes. Beautiful matte shades and a couple of shimmers, but it's a very matte heavy palette. And then I've got the, the Larac Pro, the Chocolate Box palette. These two shades in the middle are shimmer shades. And I recently did a look here on YouTube and also on IGTV using this palette. And this palette is just underrated. The quality is amazing. The tones are beautiful. I'm definitely going to hang on to this. The shadows are quite soft though. I wish they were a little, a little bit stiffer. But the quality is there. Pigmentation is there. And then... Couple of palettes from Beauty of Color. This is the Girl Power palette, which looks like this. You've got a couple of primary colors and some greens and purples. Again, they're an indie brand as well. So I'll hang on to this for now. See how much use I get out of it. I've also got the Queenine palette. I haven't used this a lot, um, admittedly, and I'm sure I could use it a bit more because the color story is unique. I don't have these tones in a palette in my collection, and I think I've only used this palette twice. So I'll definitely be dusting this guy and using it this year. And then from Brown Melanin Makeup, I've got the Melanin Fantasy Eyeshadow Palette which is a standard but very beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette. A lot of people use this as a contour. You can also use it as a contour. I've used this as a blush. I've used this as a blush before. It's very pigmented. Again, another black owned brand. Love it. 
So I'll definitely be hanging on to this. And then I've also got the Melanin Treasure Palette by Beauty of Color. I used this recently in summer and I just remembered why I loved it so much. It's such a big palette. I can barely fit it on the screen. It's a big palette. You've got a beautiful selection of shimmer shadows all running through the bottom and the rest of them are matte shadows. The quality of this is dwindling a lot <laughs> but I will keep it because the shimmer shadows are still very pigmented so I don't think it's gonna make it through um, another round of these review but for now I'm gonna use this um, I think these two palettes work really really well together all right so next up I've got this e Unique Beauty um, 7 Deadly Sins eyeshadow palette it comes in a book E Unique Beauty, with the exception of Storybook Cosmetics, is one of the only other brands I've seen put shadows in a book until recently when everyone's doing it. But honestly, E Unique Beauty have always just innovation is never a problem for them. Really love the packaging. And then on the inside, you've got these shadows. These shadows are so pigmented, very, very nice. And you've got a mirror. I will always hang on to this palette because it's just so unique and it's so beautiful and i just love to display it as a book in my collection so i am gonna hang on to it the shadows are really really good as well so definitely check them out if you're on the hunt oh the shadows are really really good as well so definitely check them out as i said with any beauty you do get 10 percent off if you use my code medea j uh me myself and mama mitchell eyeshadow palette you all know what this looks like again book format You've got this beautiful, can I get it in there? <laughs> you've got, God, I'm going to blind someone. Right, you've got these beautiful shadows on this side. You've got a mirror dividing it. And then you've got some more beautiful shadows on the other side. It looks like that. Very pretty. So I will be hanging on to this. I do love Mama Mama Mitchell. He has come out with his own brand but he is such an amazing makeup artist so i will be hanging on to that next up is the sunset horizon eyeshadow palette by beauty bay this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes i came across in 2020 this is such a beautiful color story and the pigmentation of this palette is just off the chain i did a look on instagram using this palette and I've just been playing around swatching it and it's just so pigmented and I love the color story. I think it's just well executed, really, really stunning palette from Beauty Bay. And it's currently on sale, you guys. So if you haven't been able to pick it up, definitely do. I think it's value for money. Very, very inexpensive and the colors are just stunning. The one that really blew me away is the Book of Magic palette. And I believe this at the moment is £7.50 on Beauty Bay. And the pigmentation of this palette is just stunning. I really want to use this palette again. But the two times that I used it, I was just blown away. It's just so pretty, so easy to use, so pigmented, so blendable. The formula is amazing. And I love the color story. I love the way the colors are laid out. I think Beauty Bay did an amazing job with these two palettes. Next up from Tarte, I've got this Gift and Glam Collector Set. I actually purchased this for myself for my birthday just because the packaging is just so freaking beautiful, guys. And pull this out. You've got a lip gloss, a mascara, and then you've got an empty palette. And then you pick up one of the cords from here. And you fill up your empty palette and you're good to go. I am going to use this and shop my stash and see how far I get. But I really love the concept of this palette. Plus it's so pretty. Like literally so freaking pretty. I love it. So I'm going to keep that. Right. So next up we've got the ABH Norvina collection palette. And this is number three, I believe. Or is this number two? I don't know you guys <laughs> I think this is number two which looks like this this is the one with the blue and green color story 
and this is what it looks like and i have used this palette more than the others and i do see what people say about the shimmer shades i think they're really stiff to use and the brush doesn't really pick them up but i find them easy to use when you use your finger which isn't my favorite thing to do but i'm getting over it and i think the matte shades are very hard to blend out um you just have to really go a tiny bit at a time and to be honest i know ain't nobody got time for that but it is a beautiful color story and the looks are very pretty when you do take your time so I will be hanging on to all of them because most of them were gifts and then this is volume one this is volume one this is the least used one um i have swatched it but i haven't really given it much love i've only used these shades in the corner to be honest i could do with using it a bit more I did recently purchase the Novena palette, so maybe I'll use it together. That's what it looks like. And this is my favorite one out of all four. This is number four. This is the one that I didn't think I would like, but then a friend got it for me for my birthday and I fell in love. Look at the packaging, you guys. How can you not love this? Look at that. This is the one I've used the most. The pinks in here. The purples in here, even those pressed glitters make sense. So freaking pretty. Oh, I live. Just looking at it alone, I just want to use it right now. So pretty. And then the last one is this one. This was the one that actually got me hooked on these palettes because I love the color story. I have used this one a couple of times as well. You've got greens, orange, browns in there. Very, very pretty color story, but I haven't given it as much love as I should. So definitely will be reaching into my ABH palettes, as I mentioned before. I need to give them way more love than I'm doing right now, but I'm going to keep them all for now. So next up, I've got the Violet Voss pro eyeshadow palette now this is the holy grail palette and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i forgot that i have this palette <laughs> i forgot that i have this palette <sighs> what a shame because this palette isn't cheap it is quite old but i am gonna hang on to it but now that i look at it the elixir beauty palette they are so similar let's have a look So this is Holy Grail on top, Elixir Beauty at the bottom, and they're so similar in tones. But I feel like the Holy Grail palette will give me more of the matte shades that I need that the Elixir palette will never give me. So in, in hindsight, I am going to declutter the Elixir Beauty palette. I mean, the brand has gone ghost anyway, so I am going to let go of this because i don't even know if their website is functioning for you guys to purchase so i'll declutter that and i'll definitely keep the holy grail palette for now and see what the pigmentation is like if it's still good then i'll hang on to it and then also from day day signature i've got the pressed fruit palette i've only used a couple of these shades in um, to accompany some other palettes and I have swatched it hence why it looks beat up But it's one of those palettes that I do want to hang on to I do love it when indie brands come out with Beautiful color stories and I do support day day signature. So I'm gonna hang on to that Next up is one of my favorite palettes from the brand and this is the orange eyeshadow palette I do have a review of this on my youtube channel if you're interested but it's such a pigmented eyeshadow palette and i love the color story i love the depth of colors and i love the pressed pigments the pressed glitters as well so i will hang on to that they also recently came out with the apple palette so this brand always comes out with like apple with fruit theme eyeshadow palette so I do have a review of this as well on my YouTube channel. 
I love the color story and that red shade in the middle is so pigmented it's just disrespectful so definitely check them out if you haven't I do have a discount code Medea J which will save you 10% off Day Day Signature they do have a UK stockist as well called House of Clary Vaughan again Medea J will get you 10% off that as well but I will be hanging on to all the palettes from Day Day Signature next up I've got a couple of Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes and um, from the last video I did declutter quite a bit of the Jeffree Star palettes when I released my summer collection video that's kind of when all the shit about JC and um, Shane Dawson was really hitting the roof so I wanted to to detach myself from all of that drama so i did say to you guys that i won't be using jsc palettes on camera but you guys i did purchase quite a bit of the jsc palettes and i have been gifted quite a lot from loved ones so it's a bittersweet moment but i am not gonna get rid of every single jsc product because it's really really wasteful and i feel like it's a slap in the face to the people who, who spend their money to purchase me these palettes so i won't use them on camera but i will use them off camera because if not it's just wasteful in my opinion so two of the palettes are actually quite new from one of my friends in the us who just really wanted to purchase the palette just because i mentioned to her that um i can't imagine on my in my account to really see the og palette as one of the things that i purchased so she purchased it for me and sent it to me so we're going to go through that in a second so the first one is the mini breaker palette now i received this as a free gift from beauty bay after i purchased something and this was part of my tribe points so i haven't used this this is really new and that's what it looks like and i'm not going to dwell too much on jsc palettes because i know a lot of you are not interested but this is part of the collection so i am going to show you guys next one is the mini orgy palette and this is one of the ones my friend sent me and for the most part i was really excited to actually try this formula but boy was i disappointed the shimmer shadows have a lot to be desired they are not great they're so crumbly not worth the money and they're not pigmented at all like literally there is hardly anything coming up on your finger and a lot of the shades and it isn't a palette i'll think of first when i want to use do you see that like it's so dusty and crusty i don't the pigmentation isn't there for what it is that i'm looking for so i think i'm quite happy getting rid of the uh mini orgy palette i will give that away to a friend who i know really loves jsc formula maybe she can make it work because i can't so this is going to leave my collection next up i've got the og palette um this one was pretty eh, disappointing as well this is one of the ones my friend sent me as well and this is a cool tone lover aka me's type of dream but i thought it was a good combination of cool tone and warm tone browns unfortunately they all look really cool tone on the eye they don't really look different on the eye to be honest um it is to be honest i have used this as one of the eyeshadow palettes in the shop my stash and i did use this for a week and i was able to create a couple of decent looks but they all look the same in my opinion but i'm not gonna get rid of it because it is an easy to use eyeshadow palette if i just want to create like a cool tone smoky eye so i will hang on to this chop the packaging next up is the thirsty palette i've had this in my collection for a long time and i've decluttered it a couple of times but added it back into my collection and um, just because i felt guilty that i haven't given it as much love as i should have uh there are a lot of shades there that are not even touched like i barely touched any of the shimmer shades i've only ever used that one and the yellow so i am still gonna hang on to this because i do want to try it out for myself and i if i don't like it i'll give it to the same person that i have in mind to give the mini orgy palette right so next up i've got the blue blood palette and um, this is my favorite jsc formula 
and i have used this quite a lot in the time frame that i've got it i've used it on my instagram i've created several looks i've even used it here on youtube and so if you're interested in, in a review or makeup look of it definitely check out my youtube i am keeping this next up is the blood lost palette this is the purple theme palette and i did get rid of the packaging because it was just bulky this is what it looks like you've got purples in there i have used this quite a bit again pigmentation isn't as great as the blood um blue blood palette i put, i feel like the blue blood palette is the best gsc palette he's released and every other palette after that has just been a shame <laughs> i haven't been picking up any of the gsc palettes i think the og palette is the last palette um that i have from gsc so yeah and then i've got the jawbreaker palette which i'm definitely gonna keep because this has those pastel matte shades that i need when i'm creating some looks it's got a good range of shimmer and matte shades i do use this quite a bit and i am gonna keep it in my collection probably without the packaging then i've got three more palettes to show you guys first off is the pixie by petra eyeshadow palette now this palette i have used quite a lot on instagram i love this palette the pigmentation of this palette is amazing it's like an everyday easy to wear eyeshadow palette you're not gonna get too much pigment you're not gonna get fallout it's just easy to use so i'm gonna keep this it'll be very handy for shop my stash type of looks for every day and then i've got the nyx modern dreamer palette and i do love this palette i have created a couple of looks on instagram swatched it as well it is an efficient eyeshadow palette it doesn't blow me away but it is efficient so i am gonna hang on and then the last thing that i've got is the e unique uh this is like a z palette so i've popped in all my pressed glitters from e unique beauty and it looks like so pretty and i've got one lone ranger purple shimmer shade right there called poison berry pretty the pan sizes are just so generous amazing so let's see how many palettes i'm getting rid of in this video so i am gonna get rid of 11 eyeshadow palettes in total i've got the hasina 2 from blush tribe the hasina palette the it's my Ray Ray 2, it's my Ray Ray 1, the Masquerade Mini that's going in the bin, um, the Blush Tribe Blossom Palette, the Sonia Zareen Palette from Blush Tribe, the Mini Orgy Palette, the Alexi Beauty Eyeshadow Palette, Certified Eternity Palette, and the Day Day Signature Kiwi Palette. So they're all going i'm only trashing one but the rest are going to good homes so that's 13 palettes i'm going to be getting rid of i hope you guys enjoyed this um review and slight declutter um i should be recording part four very soon um and i'm hoping that would be the end <laughs> of my eyeshadow collection video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't and um, remember god doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today and black lives will always matter and i'll catch you guys in the next video if you want to watch part one and two i will link them in the description box below and i also do have a makeup collection playlist if you're interested i also swatched all my pink lipsticks and lip products so that's definitely interesting to watch so yeah enjoy guys and i'll speak to you guys soon